Jesus up, down. Jesus up, down. All around, all around, all around. Welcome little angels. How are you? Hope you're okay. You've been fine. It's your teacher, Anunciata. Welcome to Easy Elimu Learning Simplified. Today, we want to talk about numbers. And we have learned numbers in baby class. We've learned numbers in PP1. We have done numbers in PP2. And again, we are doing them in grade one. Okay? There is a song I want to teach you. And if you know the song, you can join me so that we have fun, all of us together. Aye, the song goes like this. Take a little motion. One, two, three. Take a little motion. Four, five, six. Take a little motion, seven, eight, nine, and the ten will follow them. Follow, follow, follow them. Follow, follow, follow them. Follow, follow, follow them, and the ten will follow them. Again, join us. We sing the song again all together. Take a little motion, one, two, three. Take a little motion for five, six. Take a little motion, six, seven, eight. And the ten will follow them. Yeah, a very beautiful day. And we want to just want to play around with numbers. So there's a game that we used to learn in our class. Kwanza, what are numbers? When someone asks you what are numbers, what will you tell numbers are? Numbers are symbols. Numbers represent something. They tell us how much, how many. If I'm asked, how many heads do you have? How many heads do you have? I have, I have two, no, one head. How many eyes? How many eyes? Look at your mommy, look at your nanny, look at your baby sister, look at your brother. How many eyes does she or he have? Someone whisper to me. Very good. I think next time when I come, I will make sure I come with a smiley face so that I give that person who gave me the correct answer. And so we learn like that as we continue. We have the next number that has three, and then we can go to the next four, and then five will follow, six will follow like that until we reach the last one, which is number ten. So we played a game. It's called a misery number. Or a treasure. You find a treasure in class. So we have two teams here. We have the the opposing the one team that will make a proposal or ask a question, and then the other team responds to it. So the game goes like this: If team A gives an, a proposal and asks, ah, in our class, check around in our class, check around in our class, move your hands around in our class, find us. Anything, any item that has three, number three, either three, the figures, three, the number, three, anything that is has three on them. So they keep on checking and checking. They check, they check and check and check and check. They check everyone and say, where can we find three? Where can we find three? And here they say, teacher, do you know what? This vehicle had a flat tire. And now it cannot move because it has how many? How many tires are on this vehicle? Only three. So the team wins. Then the other team asks and says, find us something that has uh, number five, either five items or number five on it. Then they're checking on the where can we find number five? Where can we find number five? And they're checking and they're checking. The, oh, teacher, we find this. Which number is this? Do you know how this number looks like? Let's write this number in the air. Let's write this number in the air. We say it goes like this. Which line is that? Horizontal line, then the straight line, then a curve. We write it in the air again. Horizontal line, vertical line, then a curve. Which number is this? Five. So they will, they will have won the game. Then we, the next team again pauses and says, find something in our class, touch anything that has four. Four. We are looking at four. And you're saying four. Where are they? Oh! 
they found a nice animal. Uh -huh. Let's count which, how many legs does this animal have? One, two, three, four. Have they won the game or not? They have won the game. And which animal is this? Which animal is this? Well, this animal looks scary guy. Very big. And very scary. Which animal is this? Huh, someone is whispering something. Which animal is this? I knew that is a lion. A lion. And where does a lion live? Where does a lion live? We talked about animals. Where does a lion live? Teacher, a lion lives in the forest. And that's why you say, in and out the bamboo forest. But does a lion live in the bamboo forest? No. It lives in a very thick forest. And a lion has four legs. So that makes an, a lion to be which type of animal? Someone tell me, a lion is which type of animal? A lion is a wild. Can you be wild? Wild animal. Okay, so the game continued until they were able to cover all the numbers. They went around the class and they found different things that have different numbers. They found a stick to present number one. And they were very happy. Are you seeing this stick representing number one? Uh -huh. They even said, teacher, when you look at our chair and our table, it has how many? One, two, three, four. So it has four legs. And they were very excited. And someone came up and said, teacher, look at the train you made in class. Are you seeing this train? How many wheels are on this train? How many wheels are on this train? This one has one, two, three, four, five. In fact, it has a spare wheel. Just in case something happens, it is sorted. So, that is how we learned the numbers. And they kept on singing the song as we write the numbers. They kept on singing the song as we write the numbers. And that is when we said one. And they all wrote one. Write one in the air. One. One like a, one like a stick. Then they said, uh -huh, take a little motion, one, two, three. So we went, take a little motion, one, two, three. Uh -huh. And they continued, take a little motion again, take a little motion, four, five, six. And we continued, take a little motion, seven, Eight, nine, and what did we say? Ten will follow them. Ten will follow all these numbers. Let's chant the song as we finish our lesson. When you go home, make sure you teach your auntie, you teach your baby sister, you teach your baby brother this song. Take a little motion. One, two, three, again. Take a little motion. One, two, three. Take a little motion. Four, five, six. Take a little motion, seven, eight, nine, and the ten will follow them. Follow, follow, follow them. Follow, follow, follow them. Follow, follow, follow them. And the ten will follow them. And we were all excited as we went for the PE lesson. We continued singing the song during the singing games the singing games and we enjoyed the song even during the play time even during the break time we sang the song with grade three blue and they were very happy they even asked us who taught you that song and everybody was saying it was miss annunciator who taught us the song very well i wish you well thank you very much and hope to see you in the next lesson thank you very much